In this video, we'll learn classification modeling, specifically focusing on the classification of German and Roman chamomile. Objectives of this lecture is to understand develop classification model using MetaboAnalyst. Then, students can apply this method to their research to solve their research question. In our lab, we've collected volatile organic compounds from German and Roman chamomile essential oils to create this data set. Our aim is to build a model that can tell these two types of chamomile apart. Even though German and Roman chamomile look similar, they have distinct uses and volatile organic compound profiles. German chamomile usually has a round flower center, while Roman chamomile tends to be flatter with different petal angles. However, these visual differences aren't always clear, especially for those unfamiliar with them or in less than ideal conditions. That's why we need a more scientific method for classification. Now, let's turn our attention to the data set provided in Excel. I've made minor adjustments to the data set, labeling each entry as either German or Roman chamomile, while leaving some entries blank to serve as unknown samples for testing purposes. This deliberate decision allows us to utilize labeled entries for training our model and blank entries for testing following the standard practice of a typical 80-20 ratio split for training and testing data sets in classification algorithm development. From now, I will overview procedure of developing classification model. The first step in developing a biomarker model is to upload your metabolomic data to MetaboAnalyst. This includes a file containing your metabolite measurements, as well as any associated sample metadata, such as sample IDs and group labels. Once the data is uploaded, we need to pre-process it to ensure its quality and consistency. This involves removing noise, correcting for batch effects, and handling missing values. Common pre-processing steps include normalization, log transformation, and imputation of missing values. Upon normalization, we'll notice that previously skewed data now exhibit a more normalized distribution which aids in accurate analysis. With pre-processed data in hand, we can now proceed to select relevant features, metabolites, for biomarker discovery. Depending on our research question, we may perform univariate or multivariate analysis to identify discriminatory metabolites between groups of interest. Having identified potential biomarkers, we can now train a predictive model using supervised learning techniques. Common methods include PLSDA, SVM, random forest, or logistic regression. To evaluate the performance of our model, we'll employ cross-validation techniques. This involves partitioning the data into training and testing sets multiple times and assessing the model's performance on each fold. Here's the difference. Cross-validation prediction and permutation testing. CV prediction in MetaboAnalyst involves partitioning the data set into training and testing subsets multiple times to evaluate the performance of a predictive model. However, permutation testing in MetaboAnalyst involves randomly shuffling the class labels, e.g. disease status, treatment group, within the data set multiple times to generate a null distribution of test statistics. Both methods provide valuable insights into the performance and reliability of biomarker models in metabolomic studies. Next, we'll assess the performance of our model using appropriate metrics such as sensitivity, specificity, accuracy, and AUC ROC. These metrics will help us determine the model's ability to accurately classify samples into the correct groups. Today's lecture outlined a procedure for classification modeling demonstrating how metabolomics can logically and scientifically classify based on biomarkers. This methodology is applicable in distinguishing between various origins, cultivation methods, or disease diagnostics with potential applications in other agricultural areas. In next video, I will provide a demonstration on how to develop a classification model using MetaboAnalyst.